We're with Todd Solins, uh, director of Wiener Dog, one of the noted films at the Sundance Film Festival, a sequel sort of to Welcome to the Dollhouse. It has one, one major character, a couple of minor characters from that film. Uh, what was it like to, to sort of play with this person? You know, you last saw her as an 11, 12 year old being harassed on the schoolyard. And now we see her as a 30 something woman working in a vet's office, still though seeming to struggle to find herself. Talk a little bit if you can about what you think of the character all grown up and what it was like to then get to kind of interact with her again. Well, it was pleasant. I love Greta. I've met her before making the movie, a few years beforehand, before I'd written the script, in fact. And um, knowing that uh, Heather uh, told me years ago that she would never play this character again, uh, I was free to offer this part to others who could bring a, a different light, nuance, what have you, to this character. Her section is perhaps one of the sunniest yes. of uh, all of the movies I've done, um, uh, where, in fact, uh, a, a connection is forged, is, is that, that she is triumphant in the end, that she does um, get the guy finally that she wants, that she desires. Um, so um, it is a bit of an anomaly for me, but it's always nice to throw a curveball, I suppose. <laughs> what made you decide to make a dog, and a rather cute one, this through line for some pretty dark, complicated stories of, of the human soul? I don't know. Um, I certainly, I, I grew up uh, uh, in a family with, uh, where we, we had dogs. Uh, we, we, uh, we went through a lot of them. They never lasted very long. Um, and, and one of the things you learn as a child from having dogs like that is you learn about mortality and the way that impresses itself upon you, I think, shapes your, your experience. And I, and I suppose that um, uh, is somewhat rooted in the inspiration for the film. Are you, I mean, there, there have been a lot of symbolic readings already of what the dog means, what its, what, its, uh, what, what its ultimate fate, which we won't give away, what that means. Have you given a lot of thought to the symbolism of the dog in the film? Oh, I don't see myself as much of a symbolist. I, those <laughs> are more uh, intellectual people than me, I think, can parse and find meaning. Uh, uh, for me, it's much more of a creative, instinctive process and I leave it to others to tell me how horrible a person I might be. 